And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Milwaukee Brewers taking on the Tampa Bay Rays. First pitch coming your way next. So, almost ready to get underway. And on the hill, Drew Rasmussen. And Singy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure, he's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Most guys, they get a little tight, they start to aim the baseball, but for some reason, he gets looser, the ball comes out of his hand with more life, and he's able to wiggle off the hook of you know tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. Good slider down and in can be so hard to get on play with. You're better off taking that pitch. Swings and misses. And that is strike two. On the ground to the left. And he's safe at first. It was a healthy cut, but the same can be said for the contact. He got just oh, enough of the ball to put it in play, and that's all he needed. Tough mm -hmm. play for the defense mm -hmm. on what was kind of a swinging bunt. Here's Luis Arias. Swung on, belted. That one back. Out of here. Luis Urias goes deep, his second of the year, and they grab the lead. It's 2-0. Well, he went up there, oh, oh, looking to do damage. I think he had his sight set on that pitch. He went and got it and circled the bases. And now it's William Contreras. And that's in there for strike one. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. And a foul ball. 0-2 oh now. Just missed. It's a good take. Right through there. Got him. One away. Willie Adamas stands in. That one misses. Ball one. Still only one out here in the inning. There's a strike. I got one ball, one strike. On the ground. And it goes just foul. One and two now. Got him swinging. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of the zone right there. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. Pretty textbook pitching. Get ahead in the count, get the guy in the box on his heels, and then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. Two outs, base is empty. And here's Luke Voigt. That one finds the zone. Strike one. He's given up a couple of runs, but the pitch count really not as high as you would think. Might be able to get through this one under 25 pitches. Franco on to first. Third out, and that ends the frame. Two runs for Milwaukee on the dinger. And it's two zip. Major League Baseball is on the show. Back here at the ballpark, and on the hill in this one, Wade Miley. He's had his ups and downs in his career as his ERA is just over four, but this is a guy that's not afraid. He's going to take the ball. He's going to go out and there and give it his red. best. Here's the, the left, left fielder, fielder, Randy Arozarena. And a pitch. That's off the mark, and it's 1-0. Oh, no. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. So two balls and no strikes. Oh. 
Swing and a bouncer. Whips it to first. One up, one down. Batting second. The right field. Here's Manuel Margot. Didn't play in last night's game. A little breather for him. And there's the strike. And a foul ball. Out to short, Adamas. Tosses to first, and the home first moving along quickly today. Two gone. Third, the first baseman, Yandy Diaz. Yandy Diaz now. Three hits last night, so he was a big factor in getting that win. In there for strike one. Good eye right there. The pitch. And there's the strike. Looks like he's just sizing him up there. Really good pitch to hit, but he took it all the way. Sometimes guys just want to set their timing later on in the game. That may be a pitch that he turns on. Short hop liner handled it short. Fires over to Voigt. Yeah. Rays retired in order. Rays held in check here. They trail it here, 2-0. Back here at Tropicana Field, now it's the DH, Rowdy Telez. The pitch. And that's in for a strike. Edge of the zone, called a strike. 0-2 now. Well, he didn't like those first two pitches now in an 0-2 hole. He's going to have to battle, hope he gets a mistake. And he can't come up with it. But the throw to first gets him easily, and that's the first out. Here's Jesse Winker. In there, and it's 0-1. Man, this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. They say it went. 0-2. One down, base is empty. That one, 95 to finish him off. It's been a pretty rough start to this series for him at the plate. Three strikeouts in the first game yesterday, another one right there. They've clearly got a great plan for how to deal with this guy right now. Tyrone Taylor in the box now. No balls and a strike. Swing and a miss. And it's 0-2. The strong second inning is a confidence builder for him, a relief for his manager. Doesn't have to get into that bullpen quite as early. Kicks and fires. In the dirt, on to first. That completes the strikeout, and that'll do it. Welcome back. Lau at the plate. For the red. A designated hitter. And a pitch. That one missed. There's a swing and a drive. Taylor moving back. Still going back. That one is gone. Brandon Lau bops one out of here. His 12th of the season, it's 2-1. Clearly some frustration out there on the mound right now. I mean, that ball was so close to going foul. Would have been a long strike, but instead, batter gets rewarded. Did a nice job of getting to the pitch and hitting it hard enough to get over the fence. Now batting Wander Franco. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Swing 
swing, and that ball smashed on a line. Winker makes the grab, one away. Batting six. The third baseman. Harold Ramirez at the dish. Two hits in the game last night. Here's a strike. And that one a little bit high. Carl Dixon working the plate in this one. You know, we often hear and talk about umpires being a pitcher's umpire, but Boog Dixon, maybe a little bit more hitter friendly than most. He's kind of tight on the corners, so we'll see if that comes into play at all in this one. And there's a base hit, so a man aboard now with one away. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side, and the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Eric Haas next to hit for the Rays. Started after it, tried to hold up. Now a look to first. No swing. Eric Summerskill with the call. And the 1 0. And that one pulled foul. Next offering is downstairs. The pitch. That one fouled off two and two. And the pitch. And that one almost got him. See another payoff pitch. Ramirez leads off first with one away. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. Mitchell ranging back. Back some more. Pulls it in on the warning track. And now the center fielder, Nico Holsizer, looking for his first big league hit right here. Edge of the zone for a strike, 0-1. Swing at a high fly ball left field. Winker should have it. He's there. He's got it. And that ends the inning. The Rays creep closer thanks to the homer. And it's now a 2-1 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. New inning getting started. Up now for Milwaukee, Abraham Toro. Rasmussen back to work. There's a strike. Toro, 26 years old, and he was born in Canada. The other way, and he beats the shift. Around first and hustling for second. The throw in, and he starts his afternoon off right with a double. Just a simple ground ball the other way. They had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. So the batting order turns over. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Garrett Mitchell. And first offering is fouled off. Runner at second, nobody out. Got it by him for the K. I mean, there aren't many curveballs in the sport today that break like that thing does. Huge movement. It's so difficult to get on the same plane and even think about squaring it up, let alone get a piece and hope he throws something else to keep the at-bat alive. Now the number two hitter, Luis Urias. Ball. Off the mark there, ball one. 
Runner at second here, one gone. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Gets it to first, oh. and now two gone. The batter, the catcher, William. William Contreras. Contreras will hit next. Caught looking his first time up. And that one just misses. A ball and no strikes. Got it started a little too early. Strike one. Toro at second with two down. Clips the corner and the count one and two. Lifted in the air, right field. Margot settles under it. And that is that. Milwaukee leaves one, but they still lead it two to one. And welcome back. And now it's Vidal Bruhan. Here comes a pitch. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. And fouled off. And he deals. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Struck him out without a swing. Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. We're going to take a look at the pitch sequence of that at bat. And the thing to notice are the pitch locations. Every single one of them on the edges of the strike zone. And as a hitter, that can be pretty frustrating because you don't expect the pitcher to be able to make quality pitches one after another like that. And so those are tough spots to do damage in a great demonstration of pitch command. And it got him a punch out that time. Line drive, base hit. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. And now let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. Manuel Margot up to the plate. Going one. And here it comes. This one in the dirt. Nice job behind the plate there. At the belt and fires. And that one is lifted in the air. Makes the grab. And there's two down. The first baseman, number two, Yandi. Now up for Tampa Diaz. Bay, Yandi Diaz. Snap throw to first. He's and he's back in safely. Diaz measures six feet, two inches, hitting third in the lineup. Usually a third baseman, but today starting at first. Hey. That one's in there, 0-1. Well, this will give him an opportunity to see what it's like to get balls that are up and to the right and down in the dirt. I think after this game, he'll be a little more focused on trying to hit that first baseman in the chest. Brings it in, and that'll do it. One left for Tampa. They're down 2-1. to one. Back now in Tampa Bay, John Chompy with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Willie Adamas. And a pitch. Swings through that one. Oh, and one. Pitch misses inside. One and one. Swing and a miss. One ball, two strikes. Hard hit, right side. Over to Diaz, and they get Adamas for the out. Fastball groove right down the middle. Usually a lot of damage done with that pitch. A hard grounder, but he wanted to get that ball in the air, maybe drive it into the gap. And it'll be Luke Voigt to stand in. And that's in there for strike one. And a foul ball. 
Great swing and solid contact. Just a little too quick. He's got to stay back a little longer. Right-hander kicks, deals. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And now it's Rowdy Telez. Grounded out his first time. In there for strike one. Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up until this point. Owen oh, Chu now. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Swing and a pop-up in foul ground. Ramirez snags it on the run. Nobody left for Milwaukee as they're unable to add to their 2-1 lead. Back here at the ballpark, ready to go, bottom four. And now it's Brandon Lau. Hawaiian in the pitch. That's a strike. And it's one and one. And now the lefty. Generally, second, third time through the lineup, you want to be able to lean on those secondary pitches and command them. Looks like he's doing a nice job of it. Two two now. In the air, out towards right center. Mitchell gets under it. Drops into the glove. And there's one down. The batter, number five. Shortstop. Here's Wander Franco. 0 for 1 so far. He's kind of an outlier, especially when guys are consciously sacrificing contact to deliver power. Swing and a miss. Yeah, his swing is so good. It's in the zone a long time. He gets the barrel to it a lot, and that produces more base hits. And a foul ball left side. When you look at the elite teams in the game right now, there is going to be the slug, no question about it. But the really good offensive teams combine slug with more contact, with less swing and miss. Oh, really went aggressive in with that now slider. Good, good two-strike pitch right there. Oh. At worst-case scenario, it's weak right. contact in play. Exactly where he and the catcher wanted it. On the ground. On to first, and it's a 1-2-3 inning. Down in order go the Rays, and they trail it here. Two to one. We go to the top of the fifth. Up now for Milwaukee, Jesse Winker. The right-hander back to work. There's a strike. Bounce to the right side. To first. And the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth. Yeah, I'm looking at his body oh, language, and he just doesn't seem like things are in sync. And the ball's just not coming off his bat the way it did earlier in the regular season. Next for the Brewers, Tyrone Taylor. Swing and a foul straight back. Well, you got to give him credit out there on the mound. This outing started off a little shaky, but he's found a way to settle in and turn this into a pretty good start. Kind of shows you a lot about his mental makeup as a pitcher. Struck him out looking. Well, he went up there trying to be aggressive, that's for sure. Hacking at those first two pitches, but oh, that clearly that last one fooled him. He could have been sitting on something else entirely, but you want to be able to adjust on 0-2 and, and at least get a swing off when it's in the zone. Maybe choke up, maybe spread out your stance a little bit. You got to give the guy credit on the mound, though. He went right after it. Toro in the box with two gone and takes a look at a called strike. Doubled his first time up. Ball one. Check swing didn't go. And now it's even one and one. That's big right there, being able to check your swing. Think about the count swing. Instead of 0-2, he's sitting 1-1 one, one against a really good arm. Kicks and deals. Ground ball up the middle. Tosses to first. And that is the third out of the inning. Gone in order are the Brewers. They lead it 2-1. Back here at Tropicana Leading Field, and the here's Rays. the catcher, Eric Haas. The catcher. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. And that's downstairs and outside.
That misses the zone, and now 2-0. He's been raking in recent games, and a big reason why, getting ahead in counts. He's been able to do that consistently, and you see the results. That one spoiled, and the count now two and one. The wind of the pitch. And that's ripped for a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. He was all over that one. Other than ripping one into the gap or blasting one over the wall, there aren't a whole lot of hits that are more satisfying than a nice line drive in the center field. So that definitely felt good. And stepping in for the Rays, Nico Holsizer. 0 for 1 with a flyout. That's in there. That's strike one. The pitch. Line drive caught. Now that the second baseman. Vidal. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Vidal Bruja. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning ending double play. Line drive. Mitchell snags it for the second out. Back to the top of the lineup. Now it's Randy Rosarena. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. This one in the air center field. Mitchell makes the catch, and that'll do it. The Rays strand just the one, and our score remains 2-1. Welcome back. And now it's going to be Garrett Mitchell. The center fielder, number five, Garrett Rasmussen. Mitchell. Back to work. At On the, the mound, he had a little trouble back in the first, but it's been a different story the rest of the way. Really settled into this outing nicely. Well, that's all Next pitch you. misses inside. And yeah, that's ball two. That's towards center. Franco sizing this one up. Puts the squeeze on that one. And there's one down. Now, that's a tough play for the infielder ranging back into the outfield. There's part of him that's saying, hey, where are you at, outfielder? Call me off. But he stayed focused and made a nice catch right there. Here's the third baseman, Luis Urias. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Urias, 25 years old, and he's a native of Mexico. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. Players from Mexico City to Baja, California, have been in the league going back to the 30s. Mexico has been represented. This one's into the outfield. Could be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. In safely. It's a double and his second hit. Two hits for him in this one. Both for extra bases. Got to feel good about that. Put a really nice balanced swing on it. And when you can rope one into the gap like that, you're thinking extra bases from the first couple of steps out of the box. And he'll feel real good about that one. Now here is William Contreras. First offering misses the mark. Next offering is fouled back. Runner leads away at second. And now the count one and two after the swing and the miss. Clearly is sitting on a foul. And a one two. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Just a hammer 12 6 curveball right there, boo. That was exactly what he wanted to do with it. Not a ton of pitchers can throw a true 12 6 break, but he does. And you can't throw it any better than he did right there. Adamas up to hit for the third time as he lays off inside ball one. 
Swing and a foul pushed off to the right and that will get out of play. Riding to the plate. Adamas tries to hold up, appeal to first, and he went around. Rule the swing. Next offering is down low. Urias on its second with two down. The pitch. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. A double in the inning, but they leave him stranded. Two, three, four, two up in the home half of the sixth. It's the Brewers two, the Rays one. Well, we go bottom six, and now the right. The wind of the pitch. Upstairs. There's the strike. Right. And that one clips the corner. Getting a little frustrated with the strike zone. One two to Margot. This to third. Urias to first oh. in time. One away, bottom of the six. The first baseman, number two, Yandy Diaz. Yandy Diaz next to hit for the Rays. And first offering is fouled off. Foul ball there. The pitch. Nope. Just missed. One ball, two strikes. Out to short. Fires to first on the run. Two up, two down. The batter, number eight, designated hitter, Brandon. And now, Brandon Lau. Lau measures 5 feet 10 inches, 185 pounds, and he's driven in double-digit runs over his last 10 games. Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up until this point. And one and two. And that one hit to first, and he grabs it in foul ground. Here's a one-two. Off the outside edge, and now the count is two and two. Two-two now. And another ball. Wow, this guy's really battling up there as if his run is the game-winning run. I love his tenacity. Downstairs, nope. and it misses nope. ball four. Well, a breaking ball in that 3-2 count kind of tells you that that's the pitch he has the most confidence in right now. Just couldn't find the strike zone. And here comes the Brewers manager to the mound. Pitching change coming. That's as far as Wade Miley will go. Pretty good effort, and he exits with a lead. We'll tell you about the new pitcher when we get back. So the Brewers bring out a new pitcher from the pen, Jansen Chung. Well, he's the guy they hope to turn to out of the pin to lock down wins. So this game has gone to plan, more or less. Let's see if he can wrap it up here. Wander Franco next to hit for the Rays. Struck out on just three pitches last time. That 
misses the zone. And that ball is ball one. Ball one. Well, in this situation, the hitter knows that he's got to find a pitch that he can drive in order to drive in that tying run all the way from first base. So if he can't do that, keep the line moving through a walk or just a base hit. But you've got to stay within yourself. Ball to strike. And that one fouled off. Ground ball to the right side. He dives, but he can't make the catch. No throw, and they come away without an out. Now the third baseman, Harold Ramirez. Pitch is in there, and it's 0-1. Lau, the lead runner at second. Franco at first, two out of the inning. Good eye right there. Line drive. Brings it in for the third out. They hand the ball over to a new arm, Luis Patino. And this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep him within striking distance. Luke Voigt at the plate. Infield shifted to the pull side. And the pitch. That one is absolutely belted. Margot raging back towards the wall. And it's off the wall. Throw cut off to second. In there safely. First pitch swing in, went up there with the plan to be aggressive. Challenged him with the fastball right in the heart of the zone, and he was clearly ready to jump all over it. Here's Rowdy Telez. Just off the outside part of the plate. That one fouled off. No outs. Runner on second. That one inside. And it's two and one. Swing and a miss. As he was out front that time. On the ground right side. Diaz steps on the bag. That's the first out in the top of the seventh. Now the left fielder, Jesse Winker. So RBI spot, but Chris, this is a guy that is not really swinging the bat all that well here. In this situation, you have a real good opportunity to get swings and misses and record a strikeout. I think you attack him in this spot. One away with a runner at third. On the ground, right side. Tosses to first, and Winker is set down. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. Tyrone Taylor digs in now. In there, and it's 0-1. Late with the swing there. No ball, two strikes. And the righty deals. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Gets a piece, and it stays 0 2. Rudder at third, two away. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Huge strikeout there. So they work around the leadoff double. Seventh inning stretch time. It's the Brewers two, the Rays one. Bottom of the seventh, and now the catcher comes up to him. Eric Haas. The pitch. 
And that's a strike. Movement in Milwaukee's bullpen. Hobie Milner up and throwing for manager Craig Council. Ashby, the power lefty, up as well. The tying run at the plate. Swing and a miss. Looked off balance that time. He has a tendency to chase out of the zone, and that slider that's down, that's one of his money pitches to get that swing and miss. In the dirt. Fires over to Voigt, and one away in the bottom of the seventh. A big first out here in the seventh via the punch out. Yeah, it just does so much to change the outlook of an important inning like this. I mean, you got the leadoff hitter so critical in setting the table when you got a tight game like this. So a strikeout really puts them on their heels. And now Nico Holsizer. The 1 0. Late on that fastball. Kelly just threw that fastball by him, elevated, and if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. Got him swinging for the K. Ugly cut on the slider for strike three. He's really good hitting the baseball the no other way, Number so seven. credit the pitcher for having Second him out in front of that pitch. Clearly he had him fooled. Bruhan. Now at the plate, Vidal Bruhan. Swings and lines a base hit into left field. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. And that one is lifted in the air. He's got it, and that is out number three. Back now in Tampa Bay, all set for the start of the inning. Now it's the second baseman, Abraham Toro. Here comes a pitch. The other way, and he beats the shift. Around first, heading for two. And he's got his second double of the game. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Good piece of hitting going the other way with that pitch to beat the shift. You know, not a lot of guys are willing to do that, even with the shift on, because they're looking to pull the ball with authority. But it's a pretty easy hit if you want it. Mitchell stands in now and watches strike one. Strike two. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time it gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. Looking for the K. Next for Milwaukee, Luis Urias. Really good piece of hitting last time. Going to the opposite field. First pitch, just misses. Toro leads off second with one gone in the inning. Fought off foul. So now one and two. Two straight. That's a little bit low. Comes a 2-2. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. So back-to-back -back strikeouts now, and they still haven't managed to do anything with the leadoff double. Yeah, Boog, and you just don't want to get careless here if you've done a really good job to get two out. Now the batter now, William Contreras. Off the plate, ball Pitch one. misses inside, and yeah, that's ball one. Lifted in the air, right center field. Margot in pursuit. And the inning is over.
back now. New pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth. Obi Milner hasn't please. pitched in the last three now days. Number 55. Now up for Tampa Bay, Manuel Margot. Corner infielders guarding the lines, trying to prevent extra bases. And he deals. That's in there. It's 0-1. Activity in the bullpen for the Brewers. Devin Williams up and throwing for manager Craig Council. On the ground right side. In plenty of time to first. One gone to the bottom of the eighth. Good sinker number low in the zone right there two. and produced exactly what he was looking for. Ball on the ground. Yeah. Nice ground out. And here's the first baseman, Yandy Diaz. Kicks and fires. Up the middle. On the run, sends it over to first. And a couple of quick outs. Hey, man, four pitches, two outs. That is an excellent pace. Loud in the box now. No balls and a strike. There it was. Oh, oh, here it is. Hit it. He gets a take, gets ahead in the count. You one. Nope, that's a ball. It's getting squeezed a little that's bit ball, here late. Swing and a miss. And the count, one and two. Very solid inning on the mound so far here in the eighth. Holding on to this narrow lead. This is exactly what they were looking for. That's inside. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit, just not able to square it up. And that's down it away. Wander Franco to bat next. Payoff pitch. Bows it back with two strikes. Hanging in there pretty good against the lefty. Up the middle, Adamas sends it to first. Lau out on the play. And that's the inning. Now on the mound for the Rays, Pete Fairbanks. He last pitched two days ago. Willie Adamas up now for the Brewers. The pitch. Out in front with the swing, and that is strike one. Fairbanks, a righty that throws with power. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, and he works in a sinker. Swing and a miss. Gassed it right by him. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. Check swing, but he went too far, and it's nothing in two. One run game here in the top of the ninth. Not close with that one. It's a ball and two strikes. And the right-hander deals. Out to short, Franco. Tosses across to first. Two quick outs here in the top of the ninth. Running out of chances to pad the lead. And now the DH, Rowdy Telez. And that's outside. Not looking like they'll be adding any insurance runs heading to the bottom of the ninth, so it's going to be on the bullpen to hold this lead. Foul ball. Here's a 1-1. One, one. And strike two. A 1-2. 
just misses with that one. And he grounds one to the right side. And that's just foul. Here's a 2-2. Two -two. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. Also really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. Offense held a check there. 5-6-7 and seven will lead things off in the bottom of the ninth. It's the Brewers 2, the Rays 1. Back now, and on the mound, the closer, Devin Williams. He's got a wicked breaking ball in his arsenal, and it's definitely one of his go-to pitches when he needs it out. And stepping in for the Rays, Wander Franco. Williams, a 6'2 righty, 200 pounds, and he was selected to the All-Star game last year. And there's the strike. Next offering is fouled back. That misses. It's a ball and two strikes. Rarely will you see a pitcher just to waste a pitch like that. The batter wasn't even tempted to swing. Every pitch needs to have a purpose so that it can set up a following pitch to help you get that out. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, that right there is what you want to see out of your closer. Come in and close the door. Cancel any hope that that opponent has in making some type of comeback in the ball game. Tell you what, that helps him settle in, and that helps everybody else relax a little bit to get these other two outs. And first offering is fouled off. Now, Boog, this is a real tough place for visiting teams to come in and close out ball games for a win. Right-handed reliever on the ground. Throw pulls him off the bag, and he's safe. Well, yeah, that's such a routine play. Probably makes that throw accurately 99 out of 100 times, or even better. But that one just got away from him a little bit, and he couldn't stay on the bag at first. One down, runner at first. And here is Eric Haas. Ball one, no strikes. Tying run at first, the winning run at the plate. Ground ball could be two. Urias over to second. That's a double play. The ball game is over. Any day of the week, a pitcher will take two for one. Nice double play to get him out of the jam. They get the W. Way to go, guys. And your final score here today, 2-1. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chompy saying so long. This afternoon, for the victorious Brewers, two runs, six hits, one error, they left four men on base. For the Rays, one run, a